Hello everyone, Zane here, welcome back to my channel, hope you're having a great day so far. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make crafting macros. Before we continue with this video, if you like what you see, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more Final Fantasy XIV content and join the first brood. Now back to the video. Alright, so before we go ahead and start making the macro, first let me explain what a macro is. So think of it as a machine. You input what you want the machine to do, and the machine does it for you automatically. Basically that what a macro is for Final Fantasy XIV for crafting. You input what you want your character to do, and it does it automatically, as long as you input the abilities incorrectly. Correct spelling and punctuation. Alright, so to get into the macro menu, go into system in the main menu under user macros. So we have 100 from 0 to 99. Alright, so let's choose a fresh template. So here you have the icon which you can choose. I think PC players have more icons than PS4 players. So we are going to use this one here. Then you have 20 letters to name your macro. So we're going to name it Macro 101. Now obviously you probably can't see my PS4 keyboard, so you're going to see it after I'm done typing everything out. So you have 15 lines for each macro. So if you can't finish your rotation in one macro, you're going to have to make another. So the very first thing you're going to do is forward slash AC, which stands for action. Space. Then two parentheses, you input your ability. So we're going to do trained eye, just for example. So it'll look like this. Do space. And then you're going to input weight. And then put the second. All right. This is going to allow your character to wait a couple seconds to finish the action and then go to the next one. If you do it too fast, then it's going to not input the next ability. So abilities that or skills that hit the item requires three seconds. Abilities such as buffs cut like veneration, manipulation need two seconds. So you want to put the lesser and greater sign around the wait time, then go down to your next ability. So we are going to put in veneration, the next ability. And then we're going to put wait two seconds. And then we are going to finish it off with groundwork. Now, at the end of a macro, you really don't have to put the weight anymore because there's nothing following it after that. So there's no point. So this is what a test macro will look like. All right, so I grabbed a couple of materials to show you guys exactly how it works. All right, so we're going to make a quick silver ingot. So here's the macro right here, macro number 101. And this is basically how it works. You hit the button and it does it automatically for you. Simple as that. So first it did train die. It wait three seconds before activating veneration and then it automatically used ground work so it didn't have no wait time so you don't really have to waste your time putting that in because it just does the action automatically and there's nothing following it so there's no point in putting the weight so let's do a macro that is a little bit longer all right so i'm going to hop over to my blacksmith make something a little bit more difficult And let it go. Alright, 
As you can see, the animation takes about three seconds to complete, while buffs take about two seconds to complete, because you can do them in succession. So basically, that's all macro crafting really is, inputting the actions into the machine and let the machine do it for you. But that is how you guys make crafting macros in Final Fantasy XIV. Alright guys, so that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, please put them in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to help you guys out with any questions you might have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV content. And as a reminder, make sure you hit that notification bell next to my subscribe button. This way you guys will never miss an upload. And also, I now have a Discord server, so if you guys want to join my Discord, you can easily use the link in the YouTube banner or in the About section of my YouTube channel. So until next time, be forever walk in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut. Take care, guys.